Hi guys, welcome to Unshackling Sudokus and Puzzles. I am Kishore and today I will be solving a classic Sudoku created by Kinlux. Now you guys may think, ok again a classic Sudoku, what is the difference? But wait until you watch this video fully. I was simply mind blown by this Sudoku guys. I uh, tr completed this Sudoku before uh, making this video and was too amazed by the logic that was present in this Sudoku. The primary reason that I was drawn to this Sudoku was because of the comment by the author. So you can see that uh, the author had posted this Sudoku on uh, the Discord server of CTC and you can see that the author has written a non-symmetric classic from me. The givens are not symmetric. Well, don't you worry about that. I have my reasons for doing things like that and I am quite proud to say that I have never seen this in a classic before. Please ask me for hints if you are stuck and please tell me how spotable the trick is. So this was the reason I was curious to do the Sudoku and I was also a little bit apprehensive to do this for a live solve. So that's why I tried the Sudoku before because uh, I do not want to waste the time of you guys getting stuck. So I thought of making uh, solving that Sudoku first and then uh, seeing if this is good for a video. This is an amazing Sudoku guys. The logic is simply amazing. So please try this Sudoku out yourself first. The link to solve is given in the description of the video. Do give it a try and come back and watch the video. So let us start solving now and before that uh, please hit the subscribe button guys. We will really be happy if you subscribe to the channel. Uh, seeing your comments, seeing your likes uh, really motivates us and uh, the best way you can support us to and to help us keep going to produce Sudoku, uh, Sudoku videos like these and puzzle videos like this is if you subscribe to the channel. So hit the subscribe button under the video now and uh, relax and watch the video. Ok so I will just change the window now so you guys have to uh, forgive me for that. I will just adjust it a little bit. just a few more okay and I think that should be fine so the rules are uh, simple standard classic rules each row each column and each 3 by 3 box in the grid will have digits from 1 to 9 so let us start uh, by doing our corner pencil marks the usual stuff so I know how this Sudoku exactly works so I'll just uh, you know quickly go through it one is in uh, row 8 row 9 and one is in column three, so that gives me a one here. And no more ones in the grid. Uh, okay, perhaps you can mark a one here, right? One cannot be in row three. One cannot be in column nine, so that uh, gives a pointing pair of one in these two cells. And one is going into three cells in this box, so which is why I'm not going to mark there. Okay, so let's look at a different digit now. Uh, seven. <clears throat> So 7 goes in one of these two cells, 7 cannot be in row 2 and a quick scan of reveals uh, 7 uh, reveals that in box 7, 7 will go in one of these two cells because 7 not here and 7 not here. So 7 goes here and now in column 2, 7 has only two cells left, 7 cannot be in row 4. So 7 goes here and there are no more boxes where we can uh, restrict 7 to exactly 2 cells. So let us go to a different digit now. Ok maybe 4. 4 is in row 4, row 6 so that uh, gives a 4 in these 2 cells. 4 is in uh, column 5, 4 is in row 2. So 4 goes in one of these 2 cells. And in box 1, 4 cannot be in row 2, 4 cannot be in column 1. So 4 goes in one of these 2 cells. And in box 8, 4 goes in these 3 cells, right? In column 6, 4 can only go here. So I am not going to mark that. So you can see that we are having an almost mechanical uh, robotic solve. We are uh, like every video of our uh, the channel will have, uh, will first mark the corner pencil marks, will exhaust them, and then we we'll, uh, slowly start writing the uh, center candidates. Ok, let me look at the 9's now, uh, quite a few 9's in the grid, 9 is in column uh, 7 and column 8, 9 is in, nine is in row 5, so 9 goes here, uh, 
9 is in row 7, row 8 and 9 is in column 5. So 9 goes here and in column 4, 9 goes here. Uh, row 4, 9 goes here. All these can be quickly marked. There is nothing uh, special about them. Okay, this box has three possibilities for 9. So let us just ignore that for now. And is there any other uh, useful digit? And by useful, of course, I mean uh, digits which can be restricted to two cells. So 6 goes here. And continuing with the 6, sir, 6 cannot be in uh, row 1, 6 cannot be in column 2. So 6 goes in one of these two cells. And 3 options for 6 in this box. Many options here. Okay, let me uh, focus on the 8s a little bit after which I'll uh, start writing the center candidates. So 8 is in a row 8, row 9 and 8 is in column 2. So it goes in one of these two cells. Okay, I can mark a digit here, right? 8 cannot be in row 1, row 2 and column 4. So 8 goes here. And that gives me 8 in one of these two cells. 8 in box 4 has 3 options. So let's not worry about that. Okay, so I've marked all the corner pencil marks that I wanted to. You can maybe find a few digits which you can restrict to two cells, but those are not important now. So let me start writing the candidates. Okay, <clears throat> look at these two cells. You have 2, 3, 6, 8 and 4 and 7, which means these two cells can only be 1, 5 or 9. 5 can't go here and 9 cannot go here. Now I uh, will slowly um, uh, spread this process. So we will start writing candidates inside cells. Let's look at column 5. There is no particular order guys. I am just uh, looking at areas uh, densely uh, populated. I am just trying to put, put the pencil marks. So 1, 3, 4, 8, 9. Our remaining digits are 2, 5, 6, 7. So this would be a 5 and 7 because 2 and 6 are there and this would be 2, 6, 7 this would be 2, 5, 6 and this would be a 2, 5, 7 ok look at this cell it can't be 1, 7, 8 it cannot be 3, 4 it cannot be 5, 6 so there is only two possibilities here this would have to be a 2 and a 9 Okay, so I've marked few center candidates here. If you look deeply along row 3, you'll notice that 4, 4, 9 cannot be in these three cells and 4, 9 cannot be in column 1, which leaves exactly two cells for marking the 4, 9 pair in row 3, right? So which means that this would be a 4, 9 and that would be a 4, 9, a really clean hidden pair, right? And that helps us to uh, focus on uh, row 3 again. So in row 3 there is only one cell left for the 7. 7 cannot go here. 7 cannot go here. 7 cannot go here. So that would be a 7. And uh, let me write the candidates here. So the remaining uh, digits along that row are filled. 3, 5, 6. Now uh, closer examination removes the 6 from this cell. Okay. Let me look at row 8. So I have 1, 6, 8. I have 5 and 9. The remaining digits are 2, 3, 4, 7. You can't have 7 here. This is 2, 3, 4. Can't have 2, 3, 4, 7. You have a 4 corner pencil mark staring down this column. So this is 2, 3, 7. Okay, this cell has four digits, so let's not focus on that. However, this is a, an interesting cell, guys. You have 5, 6, 9 here and 4 and 7 in column 1. So, which means this will, would be 1, 2, 3, 8. But you have 1 and 8 in row 9. So, that has to be a 2 and 3. And now I'm going to 
focus on these cells which are exactly important for this sudoku look at this cell we started out with this cell now look at this cell you have 178 you have a 6 and 9 and 4 so this would be a 2 3 5 and this cell we are just basically focusing on uh, the corner cells and the title of the sudoku is very aptly named three odd corners the three odd corners so look at this cell you have 4 7 8 9 and 1 and 6 so this would be 2 3 5 right Okay, if you look at this column and uh, write the candidates here, this would be 2, 3, 5. Okay, so before I show you that one crucial step, uh, we have to uh, do an intermeso kind of step. Uh, we have to find a FINDEX wing because that would be useful in the solve later on. So I, I thought of showing you the FINDEX wing first and then showing you that aha moment kind of step guys that the logic that simply blew my mind away amazing to spot that so in column one i'll show you the find x wing six is in these three cells right there is no other cell which can take the six in column one and in column nine six is in these two cells so which means that we almost have an x wing pattern except for the fact that there is one more cell which can take a 6. So if this cell is not a 6, you could have eliminated 6 from all these cells using the x-wing pattern. But because you have a fin here, this is what you call a fin. When you have an, uh, when you have an extra possibility for a candidate for a digit in a column, you call that as a fin. You can still eliminate cells. Uh, you can still eliminate 6 but the restriction is limited only to these these two cells right this is called a find x wing so you can see here why 6 cannot be in these two cells and how did i narrow down to these two cells so for guys who are watching this video maybe for the first time or who have not uh, seen what a find x wing is we have a playlist uh, which shows how to spot a findex wing so you can check that out later so you basically can eliminate digits only from cells which share the same unit as the fin so in this case box 4 is the same unit as this fin right this fin is sharing the same unit as these two cells so you can eliminate only from these two cells normally you would have eliminated from all these cells but in this case you can eliminate only from the uh, cells which share the same unit as this fin so that's about it and which means these two cells cannot be 6 but 6 is already eliminated from here so let's just remove that so this cell cannot be a 6 this is a very crucial elimination guys so now you can't have 1 you can't have 4 you cannot have 5 8 9 so this must be uh, 2 3 6 and because this is a red cell we also saw that this cannot be a 6 so this is a 2 under 3 right okay so now let's move on to the beautiful step guys an absolutely beautiful step it is hidden right at this point so if you guys want to pause the video and uh, get that particular digit you can do so i'll pause myself for two three seconds maybe okay so what got me to thinking about this way was i noticed that there is something going on in these cells. So I'll remove these highlights for now. So these cells got me to think what is going on here? Right? 2, 3, 2, 3, 5, 3, 5, 2, 3, 5, 2, 3, 5. I was trying all sorts of things. I was trying uh, to confine them to a technique that I've already seen, maybe an uh, XYZ wing or something a simple coloring i'm not sure i was trying to see what technique is hidden i could not see anything then i was trying to use some unorthodox thinking and that got me a beautiful direction guys absolutely beautiful direction so look at this 
digit this is very crucial this cell is very crucial so i'll remove these colors okay so if i have a 2 here look what happens the 2 gets removed from here right so this becomes 3 5 and now look at the pattern of givens in this box the 2 is removed from here so the 2 goes here which means 2 is also removed from here so this becomes a 3 5 pair right when this is a 2 this becomes a 3 5 pair now let's uh, reset back the digits look what happens if this is a 3 if that's a 3 the 3 gets removed from there so that becomes 2 5 and because of this peculiar uh, pattern of givens 3 goes in one of these cells and 3 is removed from here now we have a 2 5 pair so in the first case when we had a 2 in row 9 column 1 we had a 3 5 pair in row 1 and in the second case when we had 3 in row 9 column 1 we had a, we have a 2 5 pair in row 1 so that that must give you something in both the cases we have 5 as the common digit right it's either 2 5 or 3 5 which means 5 must be in one of these two cells and which means that this cell cannot be a 5 a simply mind blowing deduction guys i was so happy to spot this i really enjoyed finding these reduction these steps are really enjoyable to find so this cannot be a 5 or for that matter you cannot have 5 in any of these cells right none of these cells can take a 5 because this is either 2 5 pair or 3 5 pair as we uh, saw earlier so i'll uh, reset these digits 2 3 5 2 3 5 and 2 3 right so which means i can remove the uh, 5 from here so this becomes a 7 now because these are center candidates i can mark the digit there so 7 gets removed here 7 gets removed here right now looking along these sevens uh, 7 is in row 7 7 is in column 5 so 7 goes in one of these two cells and that removes the 7 from here giving me a 7 here right and look at this 5 you can't have 5 anywhere except this cell now because 7 got here 5 gets pushed here so that's a 5 and now i can mark a triplet here right so this would be a 1 or a 4 uh, because you have 3 7 8 you have 2 5 6 so this is 1 or 4 so i'll just uh, remove the corners now they're a little bit distracting so 1 4 9 and 5 and 8 so i have remaining digits 2 3 6 7 7 is in uh, row 4 so that's a 2 3 6 let me change them to center okay this would be 2 3 6 7 and this cannot be 7 so that's a 2 3 6 okay so i have to remove these corners right uh, that was just marked to show you guys how the logic worked okay so we can make use of the uh, fact that 5 is in one of these cells and extend that logic to these two cells so both of these cells cannot be 5 so uh, this cell can only be uh, 1 2 3 cannot be 4 7 8 9 and 5 and 6 so that's 1 2 3 and similarly this cell cannot be 5 6 7 8 9 and 1 so this must be a 2 3 4 right and now comes the uh, deduction that follows up from this logic so look at this cell you have 168 you have 579 so this must be 234 we have a triplet now gorgeous right and this triplet is not possible if you did not eliminate the 6 from here we eliminated the 6 from this cell using the find x wing so we got a 2 3 here and we eliminated the 5 from this cell and we got a 2 3 4 there and because of which we got a triplet awesome right these two directions are really needed to find this triplet along column 3 gorgeous sudoku guys kinlux really uh, excellent sudoku i'm happy uh, that we could feature this sudoku on the channel so uh, okay we'll continue so 1 2 3 4 7 remaining digits are 5 6 8 and 9 you have 5 6 9 here so this cell 
can only be a, a eight a naked single there can be five six seven nine cannot be one two three four so uh, that has to be eight so eight is removed here and eight in column one has only one cell left eight has to go here and that pushes the eight here Okay, uh, I'll write the candidates inside these cells. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 7, 8, right? So this can't be 5, that's 6, 9. Uh, this would be 5, 6, 9. And because of this, this would be a 5 and 6. Okay, in row 9, we have a 2, 3, 5 triplet. And which means this would have to be a 4. So that's not a 4. And that has to be 235. And that gives a 235 triplet in column 9. Amazing construction, guys. And uh, this explains why the author has uh, shunned symmetry in the Sudoku. Because uh, to get such beautiful steps, you have to sacrifice something. So 235, which means this would be a 6. So uh, that's a 35, right? And now 6 has only one cell in box 1 because we place the 6 here, this would have to be a 6. And that means this must be 5, this must be 9. So 6 in column 1 has exactly one cell left, so 6 goes here. And 6 is not in row 5, 6 is not in column 8, so 6 goes here. And 4 can be marked now, 4 is here, so that's a 4. Uh, okay, can I mark all the 4s? Okay. Okay, I can mark the 1 in column 1, right? You have a 2, 3, 5 triplet here, so that must mean uh, this is a 1. So now this must be 2, 3, 4. Okay. Uh, let's uh, look at column 6, 8, 9, 2, 5, 6. So 1, 3, 4 and 7. This, uh, this must be 1 and 3. This must be 1, 3, 7. And this can't be 1 or 7, so that's 3, 4. So you can see that the Sudoku still hasn't uh, uh, lost its shape. It's still uh, continuing as if nothing has happened in the Sudoku, right? So uh, what did I see here? Okay, look at this cell. 3, 4, 5, 8. 6 and 7 so this must mean this is a 1 or a 2 because you can't have 9 here so that's 1 and 2 and if I look at uh, column 7 I have 4, 7, 8, 9 here so 5, 6 must go into these 3 cells and 5 cannot be here so we get a pair beautiful so uh, okay that's a 5, 6 pair and that can be resolved so that's a 6, that's a 5 and now I get a 2 here because of this 6, so that's a 2, that's a 5, that's a 6, this means this is a 2, 3, so 2, 3 pair, that's a 5, that's a 2, 3, 1, 2, 3 triplet, so that's a 5, that's a 3, that gives 2, that gives 3, that gives 2, that gives 3, that is a 1 2 pair now. Amazing, guys. What a creation, really. So, 2, 3, and this must mean this is a 5. And I can remove the 3 from here. So, th uh, this would be a 3 4 pair. 3 4. So, which means this must be a 2 for the row. That's a 3 7. That's not a 2, you have a 2 here. So 2, 6, 8, 9, 4 and 5. 
So uh, we have one three seven remaining and three and seven cannot go. So that's a one. And that would be three seven three seven for the row. And what do I do here? One five six eight four seven nine. So two and three are remaining. Two can't go here. So that's a two. That's a three. That gives me a two. Gives me a four. Gives a nine. Gives a two. Gives a four. Gives a one. Gives a nine. Gives two. Gives one. Uh, okay, three seven pair. So that's a six. Four six eight nine two five seven. So this is one and three. Okay, this can be resolved. You have four here. So that's four. That's three. That's seven. That's three. That's seven. And you have a four here, a three here, a one here, a seven here. One, seven. That's three, and that's one. And with that, we got the message that everything is good. Hope you guys enjoyed this a mind blowing Sudoku by Kinlex. It was an amazing Sudoku, and I was extremely happy to uh, cover this for a video. If you guys enjoyed this, please uh, like the video and leave a comment under the video. Do let us know. If you uh, found a uh, bypassable step, which I uh, very much doubt, I don't think you guys can continue the Sudoku without finding this step because uh, even the author has named the title uh, the three odd corners. So obviously it means that you need to see this logic to continue the Sudoku. So uh, hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.